we actually um, recently introduced this new uh, software update in advance of, of, our, of our Hulu Plus launch. And it's got a number of really cool features, uh, one of which is uh, a new uh, home screen overhang. It has, it's seasonal, so it shows, you know, fall leaves. It'll, it'll show, it showed uh, ha Halloween kind of overhang, and it'll be seasonal for all the upcoming holidays as well, plus the time and, and date. Um, with the new remote control that comes with our new high-end Roku XD and XDS models, you actually can now uh, reorder the channels on your home screen. You couldn't do that before. You can, you know, if you, if you want to have Netflix first or if you want to have Amazon first or Major League Baseball first, you can basically just uh, use the remote to, to reorder it. Also though, and, and this is I think really, really important, is that we've introduced a new format to our Roku channel store and we've taken that UI that is present on Netflix and now in the Roku channel store and we've actually integrated it into our SDK. Our SDK is what content owners and content you know, channel creators use to make their channel. And what it utilizes is, is, is a grid format. So uh, left, right navigation, up, down navigation, categories. Uh, and from Netflix, for, for example, it's all about different genres uh, in addition to your instant queue. So you can easily search, but you also can browse. And I think that's what you're going to see content partners start to do more. We've already seen a couple of them take the SDK and introduce uh, their channel using that grid format. It takes up this, the whole screen. Uh, so you can actually see a lot more of the of what's being offered on that channel. And it's something that that just adds to the overall experience, the discoverability of content. You know, you might not know something existed, but you might be scrolling through and something catches your eye, maybe a piece of cover art. You dip, dive down a little bit deeper and you find out that, that that's something you want to check out. So both the channel store, which is you know where you go and add channels to your Roku player, utilizes the grid format, but also we've made it available to actual channel creators. So you might go, you might go into a channel coming up and, and notice that, wow, this looks entirely different. Uh, and and I, think, I think customers are really gonna like it. So how open is Roku to content creators? How does that work and how do you select or what's the process? Actually, uh, we are one of the only, if not the only, truly open platforms. Uh, we basically publish a, a free SDK that anyone can download. And our limitations are, look, you have to have rights to content or you have to own that content uh, to create a channel and publish it in the Roku channel store. And so basically anyone that has content, has rights to content, can create a channel using our SDK. Uh, there's a number of companies now, uh, now that we've been out with this SDK for just about a year, just under a year, uh, that actually are, are specializing in helping you know companies create channels. So if you don't have the resources, for example, there's a number of companies now that are actually becoming experts in creating channels on Roku. And really from us, from a strategic standpoint, we go out and we say, hey, what is, what is going to position us best and what is going to be the best types of content for our customers? So we'll go out and we'll identify uh, certain sports leagues, we'll identify certain you know, larger partners like a Hulu, um, and even obviously in the beginning, uh, uh, Netflix and Amazon will say, hey, we really want to have that content on our box. But at the same time, there's stuff that will start to show up that we never even thought would, would, would show up. I mean, a great example of that, there's a, there's a channel called the Northland Church. And this is a church in Florida that, that broadcasts its services every Sunday live. And what they've been able to do is they've been able to take the Roku and the, and the platform and the, and the developer kit create a channel so that now the Northland Church services, anyone that has a Roku, instead of you know, watching it online on your, on your laptop, anyone that has a Roku can now watch it you know, in full, uh, live, you know, HD, almost HD-like quality on your, on your big screen TV. So things like that are really exciting because uh, you know, and that's the beauty of an open platform is that you throw it out there and you know, sometimes you don't know what's going to come back. And, and, and another one, great example, is that we've got a number of international channels that are starting to show up. So um, Indian television. Uh, for all the exp expats that live in the United States, this is very, very popular. It's live, uh, live streaming of, of Indian TV right on your television. How do publishers monetize their content on, on their Roku channel? Well, one of the things actually is, is that one of the relationships that we announced uh, recently is, is a relationship with Uyala. Who actually is a um, uh, you know somewhat of a technology backend aggregator of content? And they help basically companies that have content uh, monetize 
their their content through advertising interstitials and pre rolls, and then also um, and they do that for for you on the desktop on your computer or on your on your laptop or your desktop computer, and what they've done is they've actually created a template for their clients so that any client can basically take their content and integrate it into the template uh, and, and then publish it on the on the Roku. Now, you know, we, we don't have a system at, at present time to take advantage of, uh, you know, to basically do an advertising type of system. One of the things we are doing uh, that's going to be coming out um, later this year, or first part of the next year, is basically uh, a, a channel store uh, paid apps uh, uh, scenario where a, a publisher can basically charge for its channel to be purchased and, and we handle all the back end for you so like your Roku account will have a credit card attached to it and you can actually buy the channel or buy the content right there on your television screen rather than uh, having to go you know not all all content owners have access to really elaborate uh, billing systems like a Netflix does or or a Hulu um, but they want to obviously monetize their content that way, and we're going to start to enable that uh, as well. So what kind of programming will move to a paid model beyond the biggies, you know, like Major League Baseball? But what do you see that w would be supported through a paid scenario like that? Well, I, I think that there's, I mean, I think that there's a number of, of, of content partners that are looking at that, and, and they do it today, but they have to set up kind of elaborate PayPal systems that aren't working very well and so maybe it's a one-time fee for the channel maybe it's you know it, it, it's five dollars or three dollars or two dollars and then they they feed the content into the channel that way uh, you know classic movies old-time movies black and white movies maybe some smaller sports leagues that um, that have access to content that want to try to monetize it and, and try to find a niche there uh, you know I think you'll see things uh, there's, there's right now. There's subscription channels for music. So Mog is a great example of that. They do all the, the subscription on their back end. And, and one of the things that we're seeing a lot more of is a content partner will put out a subscription service for their content that handles, you know, allows you one subscription allows you to watch on your mobile, on your desktop, and then via Roku or another connected to the t television device on your TV screen and so they're kind of trying to, to go the three screen model where you know they charge a person one time subscription fee that gives them access to all those three screens and I think we'll see that more and more of that as well.